hello everybody now we are totally on online server with all this project and all the things you can observe www.onlinetuting.com backslash my shop we uploaded this project to online server with all the products and all the folders and we we also uh, a, you know uploaded the data database which we had offline now uh, we need to actually test some uh, payment using our uh, I mean uh, that uh, PayPal account that we created earlier so we'll simply uh, add a product to cart this one I mean add to cart we we'll click this and you can see one item and 200 its price we'll go to cart and we can see it here as well now if you want to add quantity for example 2 or 3 or whatsoever we can do that as well but we will check first uh, this you know uh, this price I mean the single product price now we we'll click checkout it will take us to login page we have uh, the password in I mean the email and username so we can simply put that and can put our password we have a user registered with us simeityahoo.com and the password is Wally. we click login it will give us a message you logged in successfully thanks and after that it will take us to pay now with paypal and you can see the session is active simeityahoo.com and the shopping cart now when, when we click this I mean this paypal button so it will take us to paypal website and the details we have already given I mean uh, in the page where we inserted this form so you can see the product name is HTC mobile which was actually selected on our, on our, uh, on our website and total uh, 200 is the price you can see over here and this is in US dollar so the person will simply can uh, insert their email we have personal test it shop.com that user we that uh, we created it inside this sandbox environment I mean PayPal test environment and its password is uh, Wali Khan very simple and we'll just click logout login and this person is coming from our website you can see PayPal is getting the right information I mean the amount and the table name everything so it it first time it asks you to be agreed with their terms and conditions I will say okay I check this and okay agree and continue this is sandbox testing environment if we are successful here so we can then use it live payment is being processed by PayPal the person will be paid now PayPal saying uh, PayPal is saying that uh, your address is this one and you are just going to pay two hundred dollars for this item we said okay that's fine pay now we click pay now and the payment will be charged by PayPal from this customer in a moment that's it Abdul you just completed your payment your transaction ID for this payment is this one that and that and return to Abdul Wali uh, test store or go to PayPal overview or that in this just I will say okay return to Abdul Wali store I can uh, go to Abdul Wali store just will click this so it will basically take us to that PayPal underscore successful page we created for this when the person will uh, be redirected to you know our website so we will simply say him oh welcome you have actually paid thanks for your order the payment 200 is complete now you are going back to Abdul Wali's test store this is now we say welcome saimaityahoo.com your payment was successful please go to your account they can go to their account just they will click this option so they will be back to their account this is their account basically so that's it we now can check basically or uh, you know first login to PayPal account because 
some time passed and my session was actually expired I will again log into my PayPal account and check the money about the money that it has come or not the purchase was of two hundred dollars I will log into my real PayPal account and also I am on the sandbox page so I can check out my inside my pay, uh, box accounts so you can see personal test at shop.com and business test at shop.com uh, shop we will enter to PayPal sandbox account and first of all we will see uh, we will check out this uh, personal test account which had one thousand dollars you know test payment uh, test payment I will just put that email personal test at shop.com and will enter my password which is Wali Khan and will log in this account had basically one thousand dollar we we added as a test balance to our PayPal so it should have now eight hundred dollars because a product was purchased with two hundred dollars it is saying one moment and we hope that it will not take more than one moment that's it you can see now it is eight hundred dollar this is our personal account you see is it, it was it had one thousand dollars now it is eight hundred we can check the activity can click the activity to see what we have done with two hundred dollars basically oh, this is the history it is saying a payment was made to Abdul Wali's test store our stores and that was completed and two hundred was just uh, you know two hundred was charged from this account so now it was thousand now it is eight hundred dollars that's it now we will simply log out this and we will check our uh, business account whether we have received the 200 for this product or not so once again I will log in now with my this business account it had basically five thousand dollars as a test amount so we can simply check out the two hundred dollars more have been received or not just I will click login and we will actually wait one moment again and you can see over here there we had five thousand dollars but now it's five thousand one hundred nine dollar and something that's because we have received one hundred ninety three point nine zero dollars that was the product we received you know here you can see in the in the history in the activity history uh, one person Abdul Wali just completed an order and uh, purchased the product and we received two hundred dollars for that so our account amount is now higher than we had previously so that's mean we are receiving the money uh, successfully and we are also uh, buying the products so that we have tested you know very simply so now what we need actually to do is we have not basically uh, deleted this product from card because it is still there because we have not used any script when the person order a product so we can delete that product that is a later part we, uh, we will be doing uh, but uh, in this video we, we wanted to check out whether we are receiving the payment in PayPal account or not and we are mm, we can uh, purchase the the, uh, the product or not so that's what we were doing in this uh, video but I will add one more product to this you know I will click this one uh, and now I will go to cart there is two products and total amount is six hundred fifty dollars I will click checkout the user is already logged in so they can just click PayPal button now there must be six hundred fifty dollars before we had uh, two hundred dollars now there must be 
$650. So that's mean or PayPal will be working fine. You can see $650. That just I wanted to uh, let you know that we are our script is working very fine the PayPal script. But what if the person uh, simply I mean uh, purchased the product. So we actually need him uh, when we are sending the person to success page I mean PayPal underscore success dot PHP so at that point we can insert the order details and the PayPal transaction ID and things like that to our table we'll create a table for that or here uh, two tables we will create more one will be orders table and what will be payments table so we can then insert the user information and the order details to those tables so that we will do uh, in a next part and uh, some other works that we need to do we will also do. Stay tuned.